what's going on youtube and welcome back to another video i know i haven't uploaded in a really long time uh but honestly i just had a lot of things going on and we're going to get back to regular uploads i figure what better way to kick it off than using the season 12 launch trailer and going over a few things that you may not have noticed and actually confirming uh mad maggie's abilities so we're just going to go through this together and kind of highlight some of the things that i noticed margaret Cohere. Sentenced to death by combat. They're gonna eat you alive, Salvo Scum. <laughs> that guy got fucking shit on. Salvo's ours now. <laughs> so, like, everyone here is just mean mugging her. I don't know if anyone notices that, but it, it seems like no one likes Maggie. Even even Mirage, what he's about to say, it seems like no one likes her. Maggie, we're going to shoot her, right? Okay, so that is, as you probably can deduce yourself, is her tactical ability. Um, that is a projectile that attaches to surfaces we can say objects or whatever um and deals damage through them uh, i'm assuming you're going to get notified um kind of like they do with valkyries tactical that something is is coming towards you um and it's going to flush you from from behind your cover i'm i'm guessing like i said it damages you or stuns you or something otherwise there'd be no reason to move but that is her tactical ability for sure Thank you, my dear. Every story needs a villain. You won't be thanking me when I smack your faces! Magnifico. Bring your role to perfection. <laughs> Giving her the middle finger. Giving him. What you done, sister? This is kind of just like something subtle. It's not really too important. But him referring to her as sister just now is kind of uh playing into like their relationship as like a culture uh she do does the haka before she's getting executed if you guys notice that too uh which is a cultural thing for them as well so they kind of just like tied that culture together just now which i thought was pretty cool Okay, so for here, what I want to talk about is that uh, two things. Firstly, the, the colors right here. I hope that doesn't stay. I'm hoping that this is just for the trailer, the reason why they did that, um, to kind of contrast this in the sky. I'm hoping that it doesn't stay the same because it, it doesn't look as good and it makes it harder to see people, in my opinion. That's kind of like part of the reason why I don't like... Um, world's edge the colors are too dark whereas on olympus you have a lot brighter colors uh and same thing with storm port yeah storm point you definitely have brighter colors um i'm hoping this doesn't say secondly uh this that is the poi turbine i know that because i love landing there on olympus and it looks like that poi is moving and it's going to suspend itself in midair um as you can see it's going to catch itself and i don't feel like as a, a cinematic person that you're going to put this still on there unless like you want us to know that about the map so i think it's gonna be a new poi it's just gonna be in the air Okay, so this is nearby Bonsai Plaza, clearly, as you can tell, uh, that building said Bonsai on it and all the debris that's falling. Um, so what I'm hoping is that this is kind of showing that uh, there's going to be a lot more like destruction in the map, which is going to be good because uh, the biggest problem with Olympus is the lack of cover and the abundance of open space. So what I'm hoping is that they are making it so where there's going to be a lot more cover, which is going to make it way better to fight in. Um, and it also looks like bonsai trailer, uh, 
bonsai plaza something might be happening to it too uh like moving or being destroyed or whatever but i'm hoping that they are adding more cover hoping that destruction stays on the map All right, that part is really important because that actually is showcasing her passive ability, um, which if you're wondering how is that showcasing that, uh, her passive ability revolves around shotguns. And also the way that I feel like it works is when she's going to have, when she has a shotgun out, she's going to have a speed boost because um, she gets like this red glow in a few part, points of the trailer, one's coming up and one at the very end. Um, and Shrugtall already stated that her passive is a shotgun boost. Uh, we don't know what it is, maybe um, dealing more damage, faster fire rate or, or whatever, kind of like how Rampart gets more ammo. We have no idea what it's going to be. Um, but... I do think that she's going to get a speed boost with shotguns. I, that isn't confirmed by anyone. That's just my opinion. So take that with a grain of salt. Um, but the, her passive does involve shotguns. Hey, she's on our squad, Chica. Like it or not, we're in it together. Just stay out of my way. I'm bloody blue. There was that red glow. And that is her ultimate. Now, that is actually something that sits on her leg or her hip or whatever. But there's an image of her uh, like holding like a whip and and what is believed to be like a flat disc at the same time. Um, but that is actually the disc is actually that ball right there, which I'm guessing expands after she releases it. Um, so this is her ultimate. It's going to be this rolling ball. We have no idea if it's going to like explode or whatever. I'm guessing it doesn't because it doesn't do that here. Um, but it definitely is going to damage you, probably stun you or something if it hits you, uh, like slow you, whatever. But uh, that is her ultimate. Hey, Mags. Truce? Not everyone changes sides as easily as you, Wally. So, you going to tell us your evil plan? It wasn't me. Papa? I don't know, but if it's a villain he wants, I ain't gonna Again, the red glow is gonna show up again when she picks up the Mastiff, kind of playing more into her passive, um, like I was saying earlier. But yeah, that is the trailer. Um, that's pretty much everything that I think about it. I, I love that they're changing Olympus. I like the the layout for Olympus and how it how it flows uh and I really liked the, the colors on it so I hope that that doesn't change um and I'm glad that they're definitely changing the map up because there are like a lot of problematic areas that I found on the map and it looks like they're addressing those Maggie looks like an insane legend uh she looks like she's gonna be really good I'm not sure if I'll main her but um like the first week I'm definitely going to try to play her as much as possible. Um, and then we'll see, you know, if I'll even, you know, decide to play her or not. But anyway, if you enjoyed the guy, if you guys enjoyed the video and you found any of this information helpful, please leave a like on the video. And if you want to come back and see more apex content from me, hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications that we get notified every time I upload a new video and I will see you guys in the next one.